Good morning, everybody. We have one last breakfast together. Uh, we already had to say goodbye to a bunch of people last night after the wedding, uh, which is really sad. It's just not fair. We are trying to figure out our day plans and take you along for it. Hi, Brian. Oh, so good to see you again ah. after all these years. I've known you for over 10 years now. I, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that is absolutely so crazy. So you're 10 years sentence, or well, 14 years sentence. Hey, hey, no, no, no. This does not qualify. This does not qualify. <laughs> Thanks for uh, being a part of this trip. And of course, of course. with us and helping with our tour. Oh my God. Shalin I, literally saved our tour today, so. I tried. And as long as it's what you wanted. How often do you get to travel to the same place twice? So, you know, do what matters. Goodbye. It's time for the next big goodbye. Saying goodbye to uh, Jessa and Max because they're heading home. Uh, Jesse and I are about to go on a day tour of Kochi. So this is where we part ways, unfortunately. <laughs> Stop. Are we gonna add a cry to the count? No, I can't. Not <laughs> yet, not it. yet, no, not yet. No more. One more. Bring this no just more. one more. No more. <laughs> Anyways, this has been such a great trip with these guys. I'm glad we were uh, roomies for this wedding. <laughs> we definitely need a reunion soon. Disney trip Absolutely. reunion? Absolutely. I think that sounds pretty good. Anyways, till next time. See ya. Bye. Bye. Oh, one last dog. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to <laughs> the Goodbye. Today is our final day in Kochi, so Jesse and I are about to go on a little excursion to explore the area. We are headed towards the Elephant Sanctuary training grounds and also the Athropali waterfalls. I think it's going to be a once in a lifetime kind of experience. Um, get up close with elephants, get to see some gorgeous waterfalls. I mean, how could you go wrong? And nothing can go wrong. Oh no, it all went wrong. Well, I mean, I think the process of getting this scheduled was all the things that could go wrong. <laughs> Not looking forward to other things that could possibly go wrong. We've had a little bit of a bump in the road with the scheduling for this, but Shalom has been awesome and has gotten this um, everything settled, so we are good to go. We set up a ride to take us on our excursion for the day, but unfortunately, things started going wrong about half an hour into the drive. We both started feeling extremely nauseous, so much so that we weren't sure we were even going to make it to the first destination. We actually asked the driver to pull over at one point so Jesse could try to use the bathroom. We really contemplated having our driver just turn around and head back to the hotel, but against our better judgment, decided to keep going and push through the hour and a half drive. We finally made it to the elephant training grounds, and our driver waited in the parking lot for us as we ventured through the park. Now, this was advertised as an elephant sanctuary, where you could get up close with elephants and get to feed them, but that ended up not being the experience we had here. We didn't have the option of partaking in either of those activities. I find it difficult to talk about our experience here that day, so out of caution for potentially misrepresenting this park, I'm simply just going to say that this place was not for us, and I do regret coming here, unfortunately. I love animals, but I wish we would have chosen something else to do with our day. I do have concerns about the quality of animal care here, so morally, I don't feel comfortable sharing footage of the animals, so this will ultimately just be a nature vlog for the rest of this segment. I encourage tourists to do a little research on places they want to go and experiences they want to partake in, because we did not in this instance, and that's completely on us. Please know that significant time has passed since our visit here, so I cannot speak on the current conditions of this park, only what we experienced this particular day. While it may not have been something we felt comfortable with, I do see this being a park that some people may find very enjoyable, as the scenery and nature was very beautiful and peaceful. As we ventured through the park, we still struggled with our intense nausea. It wasn't until we forced ourselves to take a break on a bench for a while that we thankfully started to feel a little bit better. I think the past few days were finally catching up to us and our bodies were just shutting down. As much as we really wanted to see the waterfalls, 
it would have taken us even further away from the hotel, so we would have tacked on like another three hours of driving there and back. So we told our driver to just cut our excursion short and take us back to the hotel. It had been a long enough day. But because we cut our trip so short, we got to surprise Jessa and Max with a little rendezvous and send them on their way. Hello. Hey, we're back. <laughs> we're back. I was just telling Max that we should guys to go. <laughs> Hello. It's the goodbye that just keeps on <laughs> it keeps going. Keeps going forever. This is like a common theme, though, with like my friends. We have like our I final just goodbye, about the candy tray. and, and then we just going. keep like accidentally keeps seeing going. each other throughout the day. <laughs> because our tour was a little messed up, uh, we got this awesome surprise instead. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. We'll see you at the next reunion. <laughs> In 50 years. <laughs> oh gosh. So yeah, the tour today was a bit of a bust. Came back, passed the F out. I even now can barely even keep my eyes open. This exhaustion is next level. I feel like I'm not even in my body right now. <laughs> because we napped for so long, we ended up missing any chance of having dinner. So instead, we had a final midnight hangout in Unadi and Aten's room. Alrighty, it's that time. We gotta say goodbye to our star couple here. Not so star right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're uh, nearly on our cup over here. Time to say goodbye. Shotgun. We're trying to record a video. Can we restart that? <laughs> <laughs> this is ending up in the bloopers. <laughs> I hope we see each other again soon. Very soon. This has been the most fantastic week I could have hoped for. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely loved it. So glad you could make it. I know. I'm so glad we had the courage to take this on. Even though we've done nothing like this before in our lives. Um, it was a big leap, but... I'm, it was a privilege to be here. Yeah, it was a privilege to have you here. <laughs> Sorry that my voice is dead, guys. I'm oh, sure yeah. after seeing the video, you would know why. <laughs> but yeah, that's me signing out. Hi! These guys Oops. have been absolute rock stars, <laughs> by the way. And until next time. Bye. Always the hardest goodbyes. Yes. <laughs> Love you too. Love you as well. Love you. I cannot wait to come for an American wedding soon. Yes. <laughs> I know a lot of things, but I don't know about that. Ooh. It's like the Indian equivalent of like me getting told to have babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I know. Okay, okay you're next. The pressure I mean, that is Indian on. Auntie. Bye, Brian. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. You too. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, Bye, everyone. Good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you're coming with me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on the next episode. Today we fly out of Kochi and go back to Delhi. New adventures call. I'm just not feeling very well. I am exploring by myself, so come along. I'm so sad. I'm really upset that this is how my India story is ending.